So I've been doing this workout for about five years now and I challenge anybody to try this workout out. I like to do it like two or three days before a photo shoot or a bodybuilding show. What it is, it's a full body circuit. It's gonna be draining the glycogen levels all throughout the body. It's not like cardio, it's not like isolated bodybuilding workouts. This is a circuit training workout. It's gonna be fast paced, it's gonna burn a shit ton of calories. And it's also perfect for people who are just trying to step up their game. Maybe you guys work out Monday through Friday and you wanna throw something in on Saturday and then have Sunday for a rest day. This is a perfect workout to do before that rest day. So if you guys are ready for it, let's get into it. All right, so this is round one of the circuit training workout and there's five rounds in total and all rounds are the same. And I don't want you guys taking any breaks if you can help it throughout this whole entire workout. So the first exercise is gonna be pull-ups, supersetted with push-ups. You do one pull-up, you do one push-up, all until you reach 10 pull-ups and 10 push-ups. And notice on the pull-ups, I'm not jumping up and catching myself. I'm starting at the bottom and I'm going all the way up. If you guys lose track, I'd rather have you doing more reps than less reps, so don't cheat yourself. And as soon as that's done, we walk over to a track and we do 50 walking lunges. And if you guys don't have a track, you can always do stationary lunges, but there's no breaks. Just like every exercise on here, as soon as one ends, another one begins. So as soon as you've completed the 50, you stand right where you are and you do 10 stationary jumps. Then you walk over and you do 10 dips. After dips, we walk over to really anything and we do 10 side to side jumps. Right into 10 close push ups. From there, we do 10 hanging leg raises. Then we get on the ground and we do 20 alternating knee ups. They look just like this. Then we flip over and we do 20 crossover running planks. Now you do opposite knee to opposite elbow. So now we've made it to the last exercise of the circuit. We walk over to dips and we do 20 air sprints. So as soon as this is done, you've completed round one and there's five rounds to go. I don't want you guys taking any breaks. As soon as round one is complete, you start round two and we do this until we've hit five rounds in total. So I really hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I told you guys this workout is crazy intense and I have yet to find somebody who's been able to finish this workout you know, all the way through without taking any breaks. So if you guys are one of those people, leave some comments down below or you know, maybe tell me how far you got in this workout because this is so intense, guys, and that should be your goal, you know, to do this workout without taking any breaks. You know, have your phone on you, you know, check to see um, what's next or whatever so you guys don't get scrambled up um, but the, you really don't need to take any water breaks or anything like that if you're hydrated throughout the day this workout's only going to take 40 50 minutes you know if you if you uh, bust ass and go all the way through it but one thing i want to say is uh, don't compromise your form just to get through the workout okay take your time but don't stop and take breaks so um yeah just be tough on that form throughout everything we don't want to be compromising form and get injured you know because when you're tired and you're compromising your form that's a good way to get injured so hope you guys liked it give it a thumbs up and uh, leave some comments down below if you guys finished the workout so um, see you guys next time